Hey everyone, in this video we'll learn how to control user access in a Laravel 12 app using the powerful Spacey permission package. Whether you're building admin panels or restricting features by roles, this tool makes it easy to assign roles and permissions. Let's get started. Installing and setting up Spacey in a Laravel 12 project, creating roles like admin, editor, and user, assigning permissions such as create, edit, delete, and view. Restricting access in your Blade templates, no live wire needed. Whether it's an admin panel or a multi-user app, this guide shows you how to set up simple and powerful access control. Step 1. Install Laravel 12. Start by creating a fresh Laravel 12 project. Open your terminal and run Composer Create Project Laravel Laravel Example App. Navigate to your project folder using cd and run the command. Once you're in your project folder, run the command to install a fresh Laravel 12 app. After the project is installed, open it in VS Code. Click on File Open Folder. Browse to the folder where your Laravel project is located. Click Open. Go to the top menu, click on Terminal, then select New Terminal. Next, we'll install the Spacey Permission Package. Just run this command in your terminal. This package will help us manage roles and permissions easily. After installing the package, publish its config and migration files by running this command. This sets up the files we need to configure roles and permissions. After running the vendor publish command, we will find a new file in the config folder called permission.php. This is where you can customize how the package handles roles and permissions. Now update your .env file to connect to your database. Set the values like this. Replace them with make sure Laravel DB is the name of a database that actually exists in your MySQL setup. Now let's create the database tables by running the migration command pp artisan migrate. Laravel is warning us that the Laravel DB database doesn't exist yet. Just choose yes when prompted and it will automatically create it for you. This will create all the default Laravel tables, plus the ones needed for roles and permissions. Step 3. Create products. Table run the following command to create a product model along with the migration file. Now let's generate a model and migration for the products table by running pp artisan make model product m. This will create the product model and a migration file we can use to define our database schema. Next, open the migration file for the products table and define the fields. We'll add an ID, a name as a string, a detail as text, and timestamps. Now let's run the migration to create the products table in our database. Just type pp artisan migrate and hit enter. Now let's update the user model so it can use roles and permissions. Open user.php and add has roles from Spacey. This lets us assign roles to users later on. Next, 
open the product model in app models, product PHP, and define the fillable fields. This allows us to safely assign name and detail when storing product data. Now let's register Spacey's middleware for roles and permissions. In Bootstrap app.php, define aliases like role, permission, and role or permission, so we can use them in route groups. Let's set up authentication. First, install Laravel UI, then run the Bootstrap auth scaffolding command. This will generate all the login, register, and password reset pages for your project. After installing Laravel UI, run the bootstrap auth scaffolding command. This creates login and register views using bootstrap and sets up all the basic routes for authentication. Now install the front-end dependencies and build your assets by running npm install, then npm run build. This prepares your bootstrap styling and JavaScript for production. Next, build your front-end assets for production by running npm run build. This will optimize your CSS and JavaScript so your Laravel app loads quickly. In your routes, web.php, first redirect the root URL to home if the user is logged in, otherwise send them to the login page. Then load all the default authentication routes like login and registration. After login, slash home loads the dashboard. Finally, protect your roles, users, and products routes with the IUTH middleware so only logged in users can access them. Now let's create the user controller. Open your terminal and run the following artisan command. P artisan make controller user controller. This will generate a new controller named user controller which will use to handle user related actions. Now create the file app htp controllers a user controller php and add the following code inside. Next open user controller.php and replace its content with the following code and paste in the following code management like listing, creating, editing and delete. Let's create the product controller. Just run this command in the terminal, php artisan make controller product controller. Now create the file app, http controllers product controller dot php and paste in the following content. Next open product controller dot php and replace its content with the following code and paste in the following code management like listing, creating, editing and delete. Now let's create the role controller by running this artisan command pp artisan make controller role controller now create the file at http controllers role controller .php. and paste in the following code to handle role management like listing creating editing and deleting roles Step 9. Add blade files. Let's start by creating the main layout file. Go to resources slash views layouts and update the app blade PHP file with your layout structure including the navbar and content section. Now create the users folder inside the resources views directory. Then create a new file named index.blade.php inside that folder. This file will display the list of users in a table format. After creating the file, just copy and paste the provided code into resources views users index blade p. Next, create the file resources views users create blade path. This file will contain the form for adding a new user. After creating it, copy and paste the form code to handle user input including name, email, password, and role assignment. 
Now create the resources, views, users, edit, blade, PD file. This view will show the form to edit and existing users details like the create page. It includes fields for name, email, password, and roles. After creating the file, copy the provided form code to enable updating user information. Next, create the file resources views user show, blade.php. This page is used to display detailed information about a single user, including their name, email, and assigned roles. After creating the file, paste in the blade content to complete the user detail view. Create a folder role in resources views. Now create the file resources views roles index blade PHP. This will be the main view to list all roles in your system. After creating the file, go ahead and paste in the blade code to render the roles list with pagination and action buttons. Next, create the file resources views roles create blade PHP. This view will contain the form for adding a new role and assigning permissions to it. Once the file is created, copy the appropriate blade template code into it. Now let's move on to the resources, views, roles, edit, blade, pp file. This view will allow you to edit an existing role and update its assigned permissions. After creating the file, paste the appropriate blade form structure into it. Great, now let's add the resources, views, roles, show, blade, pop file. This page is used to display the details of a specific role, including its name and associated permissions. Now let's create the file inside the products folder. Called index.blade.php. This page will list all the products with options to view, edit, and delete them. It also includes a button to create a new product. Just copy and paste the code into that file. Next, we'll create the create blade.php file inside the products folder. This page will contain the form to add a new product. Just copy and paste the code into this file. Now let's add the edit blade.php file inside the products folder. This view will be used to update existing products. Simply copy and paste the edit form code here. Next, let's create the show blade PHP file inside the products folder. This view will display the details of a single product. Step 10, create seeders for permissions and admin user. In this step, we'll set up seeders to add default permissions and create an admin user assigned to the admin role. First, create the permission seeder by running this command for artisan make seeder permission table seeder. Then open the permission table seeder.php file in the database seeders folder and add the following code. Now run the seeder using this command prartisan db seed class permission table seeder. To check the seeded data in your database using a tool, you can use any of the following. Great! To generate the admin user seeder, run this artisan command. This will create a new seeder file at database seeders create admin user seeder. Pop. Now open the file create admin user seeder.php inside the database seeders folder. 
and paste the following code to create an admin user and assign the admin role. Now let's run the seeder to create our admin user. Just use this command pp artisan db seed class create admin user seeder. Go to the users roles and model has roles tables. You should see the admin user with the admin role assigned. Now let's run our Laravel application type pop artisan serve. The development server. Once it's running, open your browser and go to http slash localhost 8000 to see your app in action. To see the login form in Laravel, open your browser and go to http slash localhost 8000 login. This URL shows the default login form provided by Laravel UI after running the authentication scaffolding. Now you can log in using the admin user that we created with the seeder. Just enter the admin's email and password on the login form to access the dashboard and start managing roles, users, and products. Next, click the test menu in the navigation bar to access the test features or pages we set up. Now let's create a test product by adding one record to the products table. Testing is successful. The product record is now saved. You can verify it directly in the database table to confirm. Now let's test role management. I'm going to uncheck the edit permission for the product role. This will restrict users with that role from editing products. Now let's test editing a record to verify that the update functionality and permission controls are working as expected. Next, I will delete a record to test the delete functionality and make sure permissions are working correctly. That's it for this tutorial. You've successfully set up roles, permissions, and product management in Laravel 12 using Spacey. Thanks for watching and happy coding.